The Spartans won their first playoff game in six years. This is how it went down. We're now advancing to game two of the playoffs, playing against Mammoth, which is an eight hour bus drive. It's also set to snow and be below freezing by kickoff time, so our team is preparing early. I'm Tim. I'm Izzy. And this week's question is, what is your best pickup line? It's kind of funny, but are you a fart because you blew me away? <laughs> Are you a light switch? Cause I'm uh, math is X and Y's, but right now it's you and I. Ooh. All right. What's your best pickup line? Oh, dude. Hey, Tim. Yeah. Is it hot in here, or is it just you? Oh, um, are you a ticket? Cause you got fine written all over you. Ooh. Oh, I don't have pickup lines. It's gotta be straightforward. Are you okay. from Tennessee? Cause you're the only ten I see. Oh, that's a good line. Okay. If you were a booger, I'd pick you first. Um, are you a state? Because you're the only 10 I see. Did it hurt? And then when they asked me, oh, why, when I fell from heaven? No, baby, I'm talking about when you went to the dentist last time. What do you think this is? Who do you think I am? <laughs> Those were some great answers, Spartans. What's your best pickup line? Uh, are you lightning? Because you're my McQueen. That was weird. My best pickup line is, are you a charger? Because I'm dying without you. What's up, Spartans? I am Mrs. Pay, and I am this week's Teacher Spotlight. For college, I got a full ride scholarship anywhere in the state of Arizona, and I lost that scholarship my first semester because I was out partying every night, and I had a 7.30 a.m. math class. So that was a problem. But I went to Glendale Community College in Arizona, and then I went to Arizona State University, and then I went to Mesa Community College, also in Arizona. Then I came over here and went to Hancock. I finally got my bachelor's online with Grand Canyon University, and I got my master's with UMass Global. And that was fun. Changed my major like, I don't know, how many times, like seven? It was great. Explore your options, guys. You live for a long time. Do what you want to do. Change it up. So if I wasn't an English teacher and creative writing teacher or whatever else I teach here, which is fun, I would be a superstar. The advice I have for you, love God, love each other, work really hard, read, 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 and always wear the best shoes for the occasion. I'm Jacob Cavanaugh, and I'm this week's Senior Spotlight. Oh no, you're not. It's my turn. No. Get out! Get out! Hi, my name is Sabian Lewis, and I'm this week's Senior Spotlight. I think my favorite thing here at Orchid Academy is our lovely, friendly staff. They're always so nice, they're always willing to help, they're always here to help you out and just hear you out. And uh, a lot of people go um, underappreciated, like our lovely janitors, they stay up late hours cleaning up all the messes we make and I just can't thank them enough for that and then I also thank all the teachers like um, Mrs. Pay, Ms. Pank, uh, the Masons, Delarmo, Mr. Shaw, all of them just all my teachers that I've had throughout all four of my years I can't thank you guys enough 
My favorite class that I've had here at Orchid Academy has definitely been the advanced drama production. Originally freshman year, it was just drama. There was no like advanced drama production, but then it changed my sophomore year, and then it's been just steadily growing every every year with new people coming to act and everything. And also Mr. Shaw, wonderful teacher. Props to you. And uh, I definitely want to thank all of my fellow actors who have supported me over these years and even those who have graduated. I'm going to name a few like um, Eldrick Washington, Camden, Kareem, all of my friends who have graduated but are no longer here at Orchid Academy. I can't thank you enough for all the energy and support you've given me over these years to continue to be the actor that I am. My favorite memory here at Orchid Academy was definitely the first time I got a lead role in the play of Clue. And that was in my freshman year, second play we ever did. And I just remember the enthusiasm of everybody and everybody was so hyped that, hey, the freshman got it, that freshman. And it really inspired me. And I think it should inspire you guys too to just do what you love and maybe one day, hey, you might make something of it and that you can go reach the stars and beyond if you really give it your all. My advice to freshmen would definitely be, because I hear everybody who's always like, um, be sure to have fun, be sure to get your community service in. But what I wanna do is I wanna give some appreciation to the staff. I definitely feel like all the cafeteria workers, all the janitors and all the lower end staff who don't get the better end half of the deal um, ought to be appreciated more. Like Bob, our lovely janitor, Gary, and many of our lunch ladies who, if you just take the time and talk to them and strike up a nice like conversation or even give a compliment, it'll make their day because at the end of the day, they're working long hours and they're just here and they do it for us. They do it for us, the students. And so I feel like just a little compliment their way can go a whole way with them. And that's my advice to you. Peace. See you next week, Spartans.